Hey, thanks for pulling out your pocket, Ronnie. We are going to be factoring trinomials. Trinomials means three terms, one, two, three. Most of the time, uh, trinomials will factor into two binomials. Two binomials has two terms. So when you factor trinomials, what you need to do is look at the coefficients of each of these, okay? The, starting with your x squared, if this is an x and this is an x, then you know that x times x will give you an x squared, okay? Um, you can, when you FOIL back two binomials, it should give you this trinomial, okay? The other thing you want to look at is your signs. Positive, positive. I like to say we're in a positive world. When everything is positive, you're in a positive world, which means both of these signs will also be positive, okay? The other thing, the last thing you look at you look at the coefficients for here, which is 1. So 1x times 1x gives you an x squared. To get your last terms of your binomial, you look at the last term of your trinomial. You decide, not decide, but what are the factors of 6? The different factors of 6 are 6 times 1 and 2 times 3. So which of these factors, when you put them in this places, when you FOIL this parentheses back out, will give you this middle term of 7x? Okay, if I put a 2 here and a 3 here, that will give me a 3x and a 2x, and 3x plus 2x is not 7x. Therefore, the 2 and the 3 are not the factors we want to use. We want to use the 6 and the 1. The 6 and the 1. Since these are both positive signs, it doesn't matter if the 6 and the 1 are here or they're reversed. So, when you FOIL this back out, this is your answer when you factor, but always FOIL it back out just to make sure that you get your original trinomial. When you FOIL this back out, you do get x squared plus 1x plus 6x plus 6, and your 1x plus 6x does give you your 7x, so therefore this does work. So this is just going back to check yourself. That was 21A number 8. Now let's look at 21B 5. X squared plus 8X plus 15. Okay. Again, this is a trinomial. It will factor into two binomials. Positive, positive, which means we're in a positive world, which means everything is positive. Okay, looking at X squared and what gives you an X squared? This first, multiplying the first terms in FOIL first gives you this. So this coefficient is of 1, so that means a 1x and a 1x, x times x gives me x squared. Okay. Now the last terms of your binomial will come from the last term of the trinomial. We look at the factors of 15. Factors of 15 are 15 times 1, 5 times 3, and that's it. Putting in a 15 and a 1 here, if you FOIL it back out, will not give you this middle term of 8x, okay? So therefore, we would try our 5 and 3, 5 and 3. Again, since these are both positive, it doesn't matter which place you put the 5 and the 3. This is your final answer, but FOIL it back out just to check to see if you get that trinomial. x times x is x squared, outside terms plus positive 3x. Inside terms gives you a 5x. The last terms gives you a plus 15. Combining these middle terms does give you the 8x that's in the middle. Okay. For a refresher and how to FOIL, see the video on um, multiplying binomials. Now looking at 21a number 1, x squared plus 4x plus 4. Again, we're factoring into two binomials. The signs are all positive. We're in a positive world, so everything is positive. Looking at the factors of x squared, the only factors of x squared is x times x. Those go in your first, the first place, the first place of the two binomials. Now the last numbers come from the last numbers of the trinomial, looking at factors of 4. 4 times 1 and 2 times 2. You want to look at which factors when you 
combine your outside term and inside terms will add together to give you your 4x, okay? If I put in a 4 and a 1 here, that would give me a 1x plus a 4x. 1x plus 4x is 5x, that is not 4x, so therefore we do not, we do not want to use the factors of 4 and 1. So we try the factors of 2 and 2. Multiplying that out, foiling it out, gives me x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 4. Combining my x terms, that does give me the 4x, which is the middle term of my trinomial. So therefore, this x plus 2 times x plus 2 is the factors of this trinomial. Now looking at 21a3, x squared plus 11x plus 10. Positive, positive, we're in a positive world, so everything is positive. So the factors of x squared are x and x. So then uh, my factors of 10 are 10 and 1, 5 and 2, and that's it. So we want to look at which factors, when you add your outside term and inside term together, will give you an 11x, okay? If you notice, if I put a 5 and a 2 here, that would give me a 2x plus a 5x. 2x plus 5x is a 7x, which is not that. So the 5 and the 2 will not work. Therefore, we want to use the 10 and the 1. Foiling this out gives you x squared plus 1x plus 10x plus 10. And your middle terms does give you 11x. So these two binomials are the factors of this trinomial. Last one, 21e3, x squared plus 9x plus 20, positive, positive, we're in a positive world. Looking at the factors of x squared are x and x. So now to determine the last numbers of for our binomial, we look at the factors of 20. The factors of 20 are 20 and 1, 10 times 2, and 4 times 5. When you're in a positive world, you can look at the factors. The factors that add together that give you a 9 are the ones that will work. 4 plus 5 is 9. Okay, because multiplying your outside inside, if I had a 5x here and a 4x here, that would give me the 9x. Okay, so that's a shortcut tip. This will only work when you're in a positive world. When you're in a positive world, the factors that add together to give you the middle term is the factor you want to use. 4 and 5 adds to 9, so that's the factors we want to use. Again, that little shortcut only works when you're in a positive world. So that works there, so multiplying out, you have x squared plus 5x plus 4x plus 20. These two middle terms add to 9x, which checks and says that x plus 4 times x plus 5 is your factors for that trinomial. Alright, just in case you forgot, FOIL, the FOIL method, when you are checking to make sure that your factors are correct, the FOIL method stands for first, outside, inside, last. And again, if you can't remember FOIL, you can go back to watch the video on multiplying binomials.